When you travel, part of the experience often involves trying new foods, especially if they're a national dish to the country you're visiting. I've tried many foods outside of my comfort zone in the spirit of travel, such as haggis and black squid ink. The one food I could not bring myself to eat was Iceland's national dish of haukat. I don't have very good Icelandic pronunciation, so here is an Icelander saying the word. Haukat. Find out why I was so reluctant to try it after this. Look up any video of people eating haukat, and this is the type of reaction you see. What could possibly be so bad about it that the normal reaction to eating it is to spit it right back out? Maybe because haukat is made from decomposed, fermented shark. Here's how it's done. Haukat is harvested from the Greenland shark, an Arctic Ocean swimming shark that has plentiful toxins and ammonia flowing through its blood. This potent mixture basically acts as antifreeze, enabling the shark to survive in such cold temperatures. It also means this shark is toxic when eaten fresh, and quite smelly, as the ammonia, which smells like urine, is secreted through the shark's skin. Traditional preparation methods are meant to allow the uric acid and toxic trimethylamine oxide time to leave the Greenland shark's rubbery flesh. Just a few bites of fresh meat can literally kill a person. So, ancient Viking chefs found a way to allow the toxins to seep from the meat and render it safe to eat. First, the shark's body is buried in a pit dug in the sand, then covered with stones, gravel, and sand, which press heavily down on the carcass and squeeze the liquids from the body. I also heard tales that people used to pee on the shark's body before covering it up to kickstart the uric acid's removal from the body, but I really hope that's just an old wives' tale and not actually true. After 6 to 12 weeks of rotting and fermenting in a dark hole, the shark carcass is exhumed, cut into strips, and hung to dry in a shack. The outer surface develops a crust, while the inner meat seasons and can only be determined ready by an expert who can sense when the fragrant bouquet is just right. The meat is then cubed and packaged for consumption. While some people don't seem to mind the taste, I couldn't get past the pee-pee smell long enough to pop it in my mouth. And knowing what I know now about Haukat, I'm kind of happy I didn't. If you enjoyed learning about Iceland's infamous dish, please leave me a thumbs up and feel free to share this video out to educate your friends. What's the strangest thing you've ever eaten? Let me know in the comments below. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel for more great travel and adventure related content. I'd love to have you join my travel community.